This is my country, Tanzania. It sits on Africa's east coast, south of Kenya, and to the west of Rwanda, Burundi, Uganda, and the DRC. Like so many of our neighbors, Tanzania is a place of great contrast. While our singing is joyful and our smiles are wide, the majority of my people struggle to find adequate food, water, and shelter for them and their families. Poverty is a devastating part of life here. My name is Enisia Bandi. I live in the remote town of Tabora. After my husband died and my children had grown up, I was left with next to nothing. This was until I heard of the work of the Salvation Army in Tanzania and the microfinance program they were running for women in situations such as mine, known as Samid. The Samid project works to alleviate people like me from poverty by teaching us sound financial principles, such as the importance of paying off debt. For many women in Tabora, this is their only chance of being rescued from a life of poverty. So far in the last three years, 400 women have benefited. As a reward of sticking to our newly learned principles, we are offered the opportunity of large grants once the smaller ones are repaid. I have now learned the importance of being physically responsible and as a result have managed to very quickly grow my flagling business. Everyone taking part in the project becomes part of a group in which we keep each other accountable to what we all and encourage each other in our learning. Since first taking part in the Salvation Army's finance program, I have gone from having next to nothing to now owning a thriving business. What's more is that I recently fulfilled my dream of owning a piece of land. I was able to buy it with the money I have saved through my tea house profits. My next goal is to build a house on it, in which I will take borders to generate further income. I'm so grateful for what I've been able to achieve since starting with the Summit project, and thank God for the blessings he has given me through the support of the Salvation Army. Hi to all the Salvationists back in New Zealand and Australia. I really want to encourage you to give generously to the Self-Denial Appeal this year. You will change people's lives. We're standing here on a compound that holds a, a home here for girls who have been rescued from trafficking and conditions here are good. Out in, in the countryside, officers are being commissioned and sent out to places where they haven't got a quarters, they've got a shell of a building, they're given a field and told to raise some money and try to make a living. You can save lives through this year's self-denial appeal, so please dig deep.